up, Pharmacy Nation? I'm Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 560. In this episode, I'll discuss whether a Pixaban's loading dose duration should ever be shortened. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 560. A common clinical scenario in hospitals is the following. You have a patient with a DVT or PE that has been on a therapeutic heparin infusion for several days, and the physician wants to switch the patient to a Pixaban and asks you if the 7-day period of 10 mg POBID should be reduced by the duration the patient was on the heparin infusion. Shout out to Pulmonology Tony and Hospital Pharmacy Academy members Pharmacy David and Pharmacy Sally for inspiring this episode. When this question has come up in my practice, I've looked into the reason for the loading dose and the trial protocol under which apixaban was approved for DVT and PE treatment. Venous thromboembolism has an acute phase, during which a patient is at high risk for VTE recurrence and clot extension. This period is considered by some experts to be 7 days long. The dosing protocols of all the DOEX take this acute phase into account. Dabigatran and edoxaban require five full days of parenteral anticoagulation therapy first, and apixaban and rivaroxaban have a period where a loading dose is given before dropping down to a lower maintenance dose. The trial that secured the approval of apixaban to treat VTE was published in 2013 in the New England Journal of Medicine. 99% of the patients in the apixaban group had received parenteral anticoagulants for less than 48 hours before randomization to apixaban and two-thirds of the patients for less than 24 hours. According to the supplemental appendix for this trial, the investigators excluded patients with more than two doses of fondaparinux or a low molecular weight heparin that's labeled for once daily dosing, or more than three doses of a low molecular weight heparin labeled for twice daily dosing, or a continuous infusion of unfractionated heparin for more than 36 hours before the first administration of study drug. This means that the specific scenario of a patient who has been on a therapeutic heparin infusion for several days before transitioning to apixaban has not been subject to study. In most cases I encounter, the patient will be transitioned to the full 7 days of apixaban 10 mg POBID therapy. However, occasionally I encounter patients that might have a higher bleeding risk, and in consultation with pulmonology, we consider reducing the duration of 10 mg POBID dosing by the length of time that they were therapeutic on the heparin drip. To access my free download area with 20 different resources to help you in your practice, go to PharmacyJoe.com slash free. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of The Elective Rotation. (laughs) 